Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my morning skincare routine update. I'm splitting my skincare routine into two videos this time just to keep them a little bit shorter because you know how I love to talk about anti-aging skincare and ingredients and tell you what each ingredient does for your skin and why I use it and then show you how I use it. So we'll be doing all that in today's video for the morning portion of my skincare routine. And I, what I would like to do is show you my skincare routine in real time so just putting on everything all at once so that you can see how really quick and easy it is even though I do use a lot of different products but I feel like at my age and at my point in my anti-aging journey it takes a village of lots of different ingredients to help to anti-age your skin um, if you're new here hi hello welcome um, I am 57 years old, just had my 57th birthday. I have been doing anti-aging skincare for seven years since I turned 50. Before that, I really didn't have a skincare routine. I really didn't do anything good for my skin at all. In fact, I was really super mean to my skin. I was a sun worshiper for about 40 years, so from the time I was 10 until the time I was 50, because I had done so much sun damage to my skin when I was younger. I decided it was time to stop that and really take care of my skin. I wanted to find out which ingredients would actually work, and so I looked to scientists and dermatologists dermatologists and started reading studies on what worked in your skin and I took that information I took the best of the best the things that were actually proven to work over time and I've loaded it into my skincare routine I do have combo skin I have um, oily down the center through my t-zone and then I have normal the rest of my face a little dry around my mouth area and that's it so let's talk about my AM skincare routine. My morning skincare routine starts with washing my face. I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion for sensitive skin. This is fragrance free and it contains hyaluronic acid. This is a really gentle cleanser. It doesn't foam. I never use any kind of foaming cleansers on my face. I feel like they're too harsh. They're too stripping. And at this point, my skin just does not need that. It needs moisture and it needs gentleness. Then after that, if I am going to use my new face, which I use every other day now on kind of a maintenance routine, instead of patting my face dry, I leave the water on my face. When I use this, you need a conducting gel with it. The conducting gel that I use is the New Face Gel Primer. This is a hydrating leave-on formula. I don't leave it on though. So I use like a little paintbrush. I take one pump of the gel and my face is still wet with the water and I find that leaving the water on my face just helps the gel to stay wetter longer. So basically you divide your face up into three different sections. So I will paint the new face gel on the part of my face that I'm going to do first and then I go ahead and do my new face routine. My whole new face routine takes about 10 minutes to do. I watch YouTube videos while I do it. This is a microcurrent device and the electrical current just um, I think it gives your skin energy and helps it to act like younger skin. And I think that the cold balls with the pushing motion definitely helps to lift your face. If I'm feeling lazy that day, I'll just use the big balls to do my eye treatment. Then I'll repeat the whole treatment on this side and then I do the forehead treatment and then I'm done. If I wasn't feeling lazy that day and I do that whole routine with the big balls, then I will take off the big balls and swap in the ELE attachment. And then with the ELE attachment, I'll do my eyelid lifting routine. So that takes those little prongs and you lift up and hold, lift up and hold, lift up and hold. Then it also has a bunch of slidey ones. So you slide that in nine times. You also do under your eye, slide in nine times, also the crow's feet. Okay, so then I am left with all the gel on my face. You can leave it in and rub it on, and I don't want to rub that in because I want my skincare to penetrate, so I wash the gel off. So then I just basically splash my face with warm water. I use my Wonder Cloth. I don't actually wash my face again with cleanser. I just use this to rub all the gel and get all that off, and then I feel like my skin is clean and prepped and ready to to receive 
my skincare. At this point, I will just blot my face with a soft microfiber towel. I don't make my face completely dry. I like to leave it slightly wet because, of course, damp skin will absorb your skincare ingredients better. And that's the name of the game with skincare is absorption. You want the stuff to get into your skin where it's actually going to do some good. All right, so let's start by actually putting on our treatment products. For this, we have to go over to my little mini fridge, which is a new addition to my skincare routine this year. I got this little mini fridge in the beginning of the summer and I love the thing. Um, as you know, vitamin C, which is a big part of my skincare, L ascorbic acid, oxidizes really quickly when it's exposed to light and air and it seems to stay more stable longer if you keep it in a cool environment. And my medicine chest where I used to keep all my skincare is in the wall. So during the summer, that wall is exposed to the outside. It gets really hot in my medicine chest. And so in order to have my serums and things last longer, I got this adorable little mini fridge. Oh my gosh, it feels so great when it's coming right out of the little fridge and it's nice and cold, especially in the summertime, especially if you're menopausal and having hot flashes. All right, so now that I've got all my serums and lotions and potions out of my mini fridge, let me just go through and put them on in sequence just so you can see how quick and easy it is just to get the things on your skin. So the first product that I use is my Timeless 20% C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. I take five to seven drops on my fingertips. I rub it into my skin, avoiding my eyelids and my lips. I put it everywhere else. I put it up underneath my eyes. I wanna make sure that I get this evenly distributed throughout every particle of my skin. Like I see people in their skincare routines putting stuff on like this and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> you're, you're putting it on in a spotty way. You're not getting it into all your skin. And also to get something into your skin to make it penetrate, you gotta rub the stuff. I put it up underneath my eyes. It did take me a bit to acclimate to putting it there. If you're new to my skincare routine, I have a video that you can watch about how to start with my skincare routine so that you don't overly sensitize and irritate your skin using all these acids at once. I'll link that uh, below the video as well as right up here. Then I take another five to seven drops and I treat my neck, my chest, and the backs of my hands. The next thing I'm gonna put on is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% plus HA. This is a change from last year where I was using the 5%, so this one is gonna be twice as strong. So I basically take five to seven drops of this, I put it on my face in the exact same way, avoiding the same areas of my eyelids and my lips, because this is another acid, but I rub that onto the rest of my face and I keep rubbing until I feel like the slip is gone and that's how I know that it's all maximally absorbed. This one I can't put on my neck because my neck is too sensitive, so I skip my neck in this step. If you have less sensitive skin than me, you could put it on your neck. Then I go ahead and take another five to seven drops and I put it on my chest and the backs of my hands. Then the next step, this is a hydrating serum. This is my Timeless Coenzyme Q10. I do the same with this one. I take five to seven drops. This one I put everywhere on my eyelids, on my lips, because those need anti-aging too. And I feel like rubbing this slippery product also helps to distribute some of the previous products and get them onto my eyelids and onto my lips, but in a less sensitizing way. Then I take another five or so drops and I put it on my neck, chest, and backs of hands. Then I go in with my daily moisturizer. The one I've been using for years is the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I take three pumps of this and I dab it on my forehead, cheeks, chin, and my neck and I rub that in. I don't really put that on my chest and the backs of my hands because then I am gonna go ahead and moisturize my body with my Alpha Skin Care 12% Glycolic Acid Renewal Lotion. I'm gonna put that on my chest and my hands. Then I usually give those a minute or two to soak in and then I go in with my sunscreen. The sunscreens that I'm using currently as my everyday go-to sunscreen is Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. I mix in about a half a pump of Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30 and I mix those together on my fingertips and then I spread that around my face and my neck and my ears and I make sure that everything is covered with sunscreen. I rub that in. 
Then I give that a full 20 minutes to set up and dry. Your sunscreen needs to form a sun protective film over your face and it can't do that if you are then putting things directly on top of it. So it needs to set up for 15 to 20 minutes. And if that makes it so that you have to switch around your skincare routine and like maybe um, eat breakfast after you've put your sunscreen on or get dressed after you did put your sunscreen on or do your hair after you put your sunscreen on, then you know that's worth it to do to have your sunscreen set up so it will protect you the best it possibly can. And now that I've got my face washed, my new face treatment done, my skincare on, and my sunscreen has set up for 20 minutes, I am ready to go ahead and put on makeup and go about my day. So let's go back and talk about each of the products that I used, why I use them. I'm gonna put this all at the back because I know some of you have heard it many, many times and you already know. So the first product that I use is my Timeless 20% C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. This is an l acid based vitamin C serum. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it will help to brighten the surface of your skin. It will help with discolorations. But the main thing that it does is this fights free radicals that break down our collagen, break down our elastin. So it helps to preserve your collagen and your elastin in your skin. This is not the only product that you can get that in. You can also get that in May Love's The Glow Maker. This is a 15% vitamin C. This one is 20%. I have discount codes on both of these. My timeless discount code is a HF5 off for $5 off on your order. And my Mail of the Glow Maker discount code is a little more complicated than that, so I'm going to put it in the info box below the video, but 10% plus free shipping if you're a first time user and then some other stuff. So when your vitamin C serum comes in, it should be clear or it should be slightly milky whitish. The problem with any vitamin C serum is that it oxidizes. So you can see this is yellow. This is what oxidized vitamin C serum looks like. And because it's formulated at a lower pH, it can irritate your skin. It can cause like drying or sensitivity. So you have to be careful where you put it. I use three, maybe four different acids in my skincare routine. I don't put any of them on my eyelids, but I use them all underneath my eyes. It did take me a bit to acclimate to putting it there. If you're new to my skincare routine, I have a video that you can watch about how to start with my skincare routine so that you don't overly sensitize and irritate your skin using all these acids at once. I'll link that uh, below the video as well as right up here. All right, then the next step is my lactic acid serum. The one that I'm currently using is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% plus HA. Before that, I use the Ordinary Lactic Acid 5% plus HA. Not only does it help with exfoliating your skin, which is what alpha hydroxy acids do, they exfoliate and they help to keep the surface of your skin brighter. They help reduce discolorations and they help to thin out the outer layer of your skin, which is all dead skin anyway. I have sensitive skin and I have a hard time using alpha hydroxy acids because they'll make my skin red and super sensitive. And so I haven't been able to work a glycolic acid into my skincare routine on a daily basis, but I can use lactic acid because it's just a little bit gentler. And the lactic acid has also been shown to increase the ceramide production in your skin. And ceramides are a fatty lipid that helps your skin look plump and youthful. The next thing I put on is my Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. This is a moisturizing serum that has CoQ10, which is another antioxidant. Like your skin cells have their own electrical current, they are alive, you know, they need fuel. And so CoQ10 is one of the things that gives them fuel and I think helps them to act younger. And this one also contains Matrixyl 3000, which is a peptide. And that is supposed to work on the signs of aging. It's supposed to help to reduce your wrinkles. It's, spelt, it's supposed to help to make your skin look brighter and firmer. It also has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Everything in my skincare routine has hyaluronic acid in it, but I don't use a separate hyaluronic acid serum you'll notice, but it's because everything that I use already has hyaluronic acid in it. Now this one is supposed to be yellow. This is like a milky yellow kind of thing. It also is 
a very lightweight serum, but it's a little thicker than the watery serums like the vitamin C and the lactic acid. And so that's the order that you put things on is from lightest to heaviest, or sometimes from most important to least important. Then my CeraVe PM lotion, I've been using this for years. I love it. It is like the best low priced drugstore lotion. It's like $15 for three ounces, but it contains a big boost of niacinamide. This is another antioxidant that has also been proven to work in your skin. Niacinamide is such a great ingredient. It helps to reduce the look of your pores. It helps to brighten the skin and reduce discolorations. It helps to reduce your wrinkles. And in here, it's the fourth ingredient. So I love it that it's at the top. Then the other thing that this contains are ceramides. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which is another great thing to help to make your skin look plumper and help to reduce the look of your fine lines and wrinkles. And then for the sunscreens I use, I use mineral sunscreens for my face. As I said, my skin is very sensitive. And when I first started using like Retin-A and vitamin C, I noticed that my skin was burning every day when I put on my chemical sunscreen and I stopped using my vitamin C serum and then I figured out later that it was the sunscreen that was causing the burning and that I could in fact use vitamin C and Retin-A if I just switched to a mineral sunscreen. And this is more of a hydrating sunscreen. This one also does contain some antioxidants. It has hyaluronic acid. It's uh, water resistant to 40 minutes. This guy has 10% zinc oxide and 5.5% titanium dioxide. The Paula's Choice has 13% zinc oxide, no titanium dioxide. Those two mix together really well. The reason that I mix them is just because they're both tinted and the tint on this one is slightly dark for me. The tint on this one is slightly light and cool for me. So mixing these two, it gives me the perfect color and I love the combination together. They work great under makeup. Now, one of the questions that I always get asked a lot is, when do I put on primer before or after my sunscreen? Primer definitely goes on after your sunscreen. Primer is part of your makeup routine and sunscreen is part of your skincare routine. And so that's it for today. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.